So next I'd like to talk about the TK button class. Um, there's just one class TK button that descends from TK control and it implements um, radio buttons, checkboxes, cycle buttons, um, regular buttons, um, and so on. So um, because radio buttons are just buttons but they're missing their um, border, um, that allows you to click either on the icon or also on the label and you get this little, um, you get this little highlight as you change. Um, and this is showing that groups of radio buttons work. So one and two are a group and one, two and three are a group. Um, just to, like you would expect from a, a regular set of radio buttons. Checkboxes are independent. You can click on the label or on the box. Now this one, these two are actually wired up to do things. So show foot, um, when we click on that, um, that just uh, removed this other class here, which is showing dynamic resizing of other views. But I'll come back to that uh, dynamic resizing in another video. Um, cycle buttons, you can click to cycle through, just they're, they're like Amiga cycle buttons. One nice feature that's uh, built into them is if you hold the Commodore key, um, you can cycle in reverse. Um, these two colors are showing um, um, uh, default, so blue is a default button, um, red is not a default button. Um, and lastly, I wanted to show that um, you can also uh, wire up re um, controls in the user interface to menus. So in, under the view menu I have wrap text, which is this checkbox, and footer, which is this checkbox, which gives these uh, menu items also um, keyboard shortcuts. So if I use the menu to say unselect footer, um, this gets unchecked, the footer disappears, and the check, mo the check mark disappears on the menu. And I can use keyboard shortcut to bring it back. Um, and you see that uh, the state is always maintained. So check there, check there. Um, yeah, so that's uh, an overview of buttons, thanks.